Good. <laughs> okay. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Flagstaff, Arizona with my man, Andrew Kelly of DLR Group. Andrew, how are you doing? Doing all right, man. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you as well. Now, I want to start somewhere first. This is an amazing facility that we're about to tour, but I want to start where it originally was supposed to be. A hundred yards to the east in a parking lot. Didn't work, building was kind of awkward, it wasn't gonna flow well, there's a lot of parking lot concerns. This site became available and it was just, it was a natural spot for us. Right, right, and speaking of natural, Flagstaff is natural, it, it's all natural. One of the key facts about it is the Ponderosa Forest. Tell us about that. All of the trees, there was uh, about 130 trees on site and we were able to save about 70% of them that allowed us to really integrate the building into the trees. Most people experience a tree, you know, kind of zero to six feet, right? But as you progress down the 140 foot long bridge, you start to experience trees at a different level. These are a super unique tree that really only grow in this forest. A lot of people don't know NAU and what yeah. it's about. This is one of the best facilities I've seen. We already did the walkthrough. Let's give people a look at what we're about to see. Let's do it. What was the goal here for you guys as far as showcasing that they are powerhouse? So sitting the building in a spot that you know reflects who they are, that they can recruit to. NAU is super proud university and they've done a lot of great things throughout the years. When we started this process and started envisioning you know, what this was like, this number was 163. In the last two years, they've won 25 conference and national championships, which is unbelievable. Showcasing who they are, who the current athletes are, success on the field, off the field, got a great Hall of Fame, but it's just, it's about them. It's about the student athletes. I wanted to take some time to talk about the Owning Stone, which is established in 2020. So this is fairly new and you don't see that in universities, traditions that are, you know, sprouting very new. So talk to me about the Owning Stone. Rich and Nancy Wilson, came to Mike Marlowe and asked, let's create a new tradition. We want to create something new. With this building opening, we want something that we can be proud of. This art piece was created by a local artist. There is another one that they take on the road, a little smaller version of it, so that the student athletes can touch it before they run out on the field, until they run out on the court. So now we're in the recruiting room. This is the space where they sign the deal, right? They close for student athletes, for donors, for corporate sponsors. Again, we're tied to the outside. We've got the majestic view. One of the, the athletics mantras is finish. Finish strong, finish your workout, finish your homework, finish your practice. Arguably most important is finish the game, right? Finish everything and you'll see it throughout the building. So just tying things together. I'm here with Greg Garlock of DLR Group. Greg, to put a facility in the right place matters even more, especially when you can take advantage of the surroundings. We always talk about path. We think about the student athletes daily path and efficiencies. What spaces that they use need to be next to what spaces so that every minute counts. But we also think about the recruiting path. What are those moments when a potential student athlete to NAU, their, their parent, their guardian comes on campus? How can we string together those wow moments in a way that make no doubt that they end up at a school like NAU. In a building like this, where we have a public component as well, we really thought about those wow moments. And initially, we actually had this rotated 180 degrees. And so you would come in from the Grand Hall, you would walk in at the lower level and just enter the auditorium. That was the most direct route. And we thought about that, that made some sense. And then one day we're like, wait a minute, we have this most amazing backdrop. Why would we not spin it around 180 degrees and everybody who's in this space have this view, whether it's a speaker, whether it's a team meeting, whether it's a campus event, this speaks to NAU, it speaks to Flagstaff, it speaks to the uniqueness of this place. And that's really what we wanted this first three or four wow moments in the facility to be about. Definitely. Now you, Andrew, and, and DLR group spent a lot of time here. This is three years in the making. What makes Flagstaff unique? You hear Arizona and everybody thinks Phoenix, they think the desert, right? We're two hours away from Phoenix. We're at elevation 7,000 feet. No more desert. We're in the Ponderosa Pines. We've got the mountains with snow caps this morning. It is unique. It is a mountain town and that vibe that goes along with that. It's not like any other place. And 
again, we wanted to play up on that, highlight the uniqueness of this place. And when the team here is, is bringing that potential recruit through, again, leave no doubt that there's not another place like this, that when they're done with their visit here, they know that this is, we're gonna spend the next four or five years of their life. So George, we're in the altitude chamber right now, and this was a really important component that NAU Athletics was after. Obviously being in Flagstaff, we're at elevation, but not all of their athletic events are at elevation, right? So they wanted a space that they could train anywhere from sea level up to 12,000 feet in elevation, and this space allows them to do that. Obviously, they have a really strong cross-country program, and so they, in particular, appreciate the ability to train at various levels, but this is for all of the student athletes, and it really is the largest altitude chamber on a collegiate athletic campus in the United States. And that's something to be very proud of because they can get up to 20 student athletes in here at any one time. This is the magic in the entire space. Again, we can go anywhere from sea level up to 12,000 feet in elevation relatively quickly. And you'll feel the temperature change in here. And again, there's an entire science behind this about air molecule movement, all of the mechanical equipment, the doors in particular, we had to rubber gasket and seal so that there's no air in filtration or air getting out because that wouldn't allow the equipment to do its job. And so we had to pay attention to even the, the smallest little details to allow this space to function the way it was supposed to. So now we're here with the director of sports nutrition, Joey. Joey, how you doing, man? Good. How you doing, George? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. This is an amazing weight room, by the way. I want to talk about the efficiency and the functionality of this space for all student athletes. And the functionality and efficiency is off the charts, right? Go from this room into the feeling station, straight down to athletic training, but also of the weight room in general, because you're looking at before in the old weight room, we could maybe train one team at a time, right? Football, we had to break up between two to three groups, right? And now we're looking at, we train the entire football team all at the same time, right? It's unbelievable and extremely efficient. And that's something that our administration, that DOR, that everyone really, really focused on that's so important is how can we make this building actually functional and make sense, you know? We don't just want it to look good, we want it to feel good and we want it to work good too. Now, I wanna talk about the donation that yeah. helped make this happen. Yeah, so this is the Jennifer Marie Wilson weight room, right? And so Rich and Nancy Wilson made a very large donation which stems actually from tragedy, but from that tragedy is altruistic behavior from those two, right? And so their whole reasoning for donating to specifically the weight room, and they did the honing stone as well, like you guys looked at. I worked super closely with our head strength coach, and he's unbelievable. Our assistants are unbelievable. And my office is right in here with them, right? And so their whole idea behind donating to the weight room is that it touches the most athletes and they can make the greatest change in the most amount of lives. Now let's kind of walk the weight room here and kind of understand the functionality of it. We've got a nice little turf section area back here, right? With all of our dumbbells. And so we got athletes we can train, we can warm up here, right? They're doing some mobility exercises. And so then you're in the Ponderosa Pine really to simulate kind of the best that we can being outside, that naturalness, right? Right, and you can actually get a peek into the outside right here yeah. with the hangar door. This hangar door opens, it's got a big, you know, beeper that goes off when it's opening, it's like something big's about to happen, because it does. When the jacks roll out this door, it's game time. This area over here, what is this area used for? How you finish is what they'll remember, right? And that was one of Rich Wilson's sayings that he wanted put in here. And so this is really gonna signify when we can, you know, bow, start slamming that wall and signify beating down our opponents and just kind of remembering, yeah, it's about us when we come in every day, but it's also that we're not forgetting who we're playing and, and who we're gonna beat in championships and where we're gonna go. This area right here, right, obviously we have a gigantic, essentially multi-purpose room where it's two basketball courts and it can be used by the basketball teams and it is used and they have their incredible locker rooms upstairs and so it's super seamless for them just to come straight down, extremely efficient for them just to practice here, come fuel up after practice at the nutrition station. And then this room, the reason why I say multi-purpose room is because it can also be used for different conferences, right? We can split it into two rooms and it's just an extremely efficient room that we're really really happy with the way it turned out now joey this is your domain i know you have to be like proud to you know operate in here this is awesome this is my baby in here you know and I was with the architects and with people planning the building from the very beginning. I did figure out all the different equipment and machines we're gonna have in here, the different type of foods we're gonna offer, right? Why we're gonna offer them and how we're gonna offer it, right? Which is all day, essentially. But face style, you know, come and get it. One thing I'm noticing is, again, the functionality of it. This is kind of like you're at your grocery store. You just come on in, pick something out. Everything is just easy. 
That's right, and, and that's the whole point of it. And when I saw that this is what they were planning to do, it's like, I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. You know, so they come straight out of the weight room and what is it, not 10 yards further, it's the fueling station. They come in, they grab a protein shake, they grab some fruit, they grab whatever they need. We got a hot oatmeal, which I've been telling you about since I met you. Is that a uh, athlete favorite? That's an athlete favorite, yeah. Sometimes we gotta make multiple batches a day going through about 20 pounds of oatmeal. Okay. You know, that's a heck of a lot, so. <laughs> now we're in the athletic training room, right? So we've gone and had our strength and conditioning, right? We've gotten our nutrition, and now third, we're in the athletic training room, right? So you can come in and you can get your hot and your cold tub, do a little contrast. You can also come to our incredible underwater treadmill, right? And that's great hydrotherapy. So you can heal up and, and get back out there as soon as you need to. One of the biggest things I think is with the parking space, right? So you're gonna have athletes, unfortunately it happens, right? People get injured, but we've got a parking space right outside this facility and a little ramp to walk up where injured athletes can just come right in and start getting their rehab. Right. Definitely. And then you also have your office spaces in here that kind of border the entire training room. It is. And these office spaces are nice because, you know, an athlete comes in and they want to meet with their trainer and they see him right through the window, right? They can meet right with them. And then we have other offices on the other side of there, which is going to be where our mental health specialists are. You can be discreet when you go in there. Okay, now we're here with Mike Marlowe, the VP of Athletics. Mike, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you as well. We're in the Free Lumberjack Academic Center, and this means a lot to the athletic program, right? We've seen the facilities over there, but your functionality in this area is awesome. And it met our goal. I mean, we wanted to be able to look at this building and, and then look mom and dad, loved ones, the student athlete and I, and say, you can come to NAU and maximize your athletic and academic potential. And it's so cool that this space, like a lot of the spaces, is dedicated from the donations of former athletes and alums. Right. Now, I talked to DLR Group about the word trust in this whole process. What made you eventually trust DLR's ability to just execute what we have right here now? Well, I'll tell you, it probably happened early on, George. When they were doing some, some interviews with our student athletes and coaches, you could see that trust developing from our student athletes, coaches, and staff being open with them and then DLR returning that. So that was a big ingredient in this whole project. That's awesome, awesome. Now, as we walk kind of in this uh, academic center, again, the word functionality screams out to me. Well, we wanted it to be comfortable. You know, we wanted it to be open. We wanted people to be able to, if they had to get away in a corner and work with a partner on a project, they could do that get back to one of our meeting rooms and do that. And boy, the flow throughout this building and in, in this space specifically, we're just really, really pleased with. As we make our way down here, I'm noticing some things. You guys have kind of labeled some of the rooms after former athletes, right? Former athletes and donors, and that's been so, so rewarding. You talk about a shared vision with, with DLR, our coaches, our student athletes, and certainly our former athletes and alums contributed to that. And then also this Mendoza family one. This is a special one, right? This is after a former QB and it, it has some functionality uh, to it as well. What happens in here? Hey, hopefully the magic happens in there, right? You know, the signal caller and, and it's been really cool. We still have some branding to do in there that's going to recognize all of our guys who went on and spent some time in the league and the Mendoza family. That was really important to them to have a, a place, the learning aspect of the game, especially for that position, right? One of the main things that I noticed, you guys are very proud to showcase your academic success GPA guys, and then also your All-American first team, which you don't see that in a lot of athletic programs. Yeah, and then you have the competitive challenge on this side, because your name goes up or down, depending on if you are a 3.0 or not, but this you stay forever. If you earned All-American first team status, your name will be here forever. And that's what a great example to the young people just coming in. So now we're in the Moran family student athlete lounge. Dan and Terry Moran, both alums. Dan, former football player of ours. And this was really important uh, to them in terms of culture of having a student athlete lounge that was again for student athletes of all programs to be able to come in here hang out play ping pong play video games watch espn and, and really develop those relationships that we hope will be lifelong so one thing i talked to dlr and your cohorts here at uh, nau is every room seems to have the transparency to look outside and just see the beauty of flagstaff we always knew we wanted a lot of light but until the building started going up, I, I don't think any of us really had an idea of how magnificent it was going to be. You know, I mean, this reminds our young people of where they're at, the great part of the country and the state they live in. And, and again, it's welcoming. 